go through the newcomers and new caps and the attributes that they bring to the boss team? I don't actually count it how many new caps there are because a few of the guys has been you know in and out of us for the last four or five weeks since Super Rugby ended. So I guess we're talking guys like Damien uh, Willemsewitz. You know uh, we decided back in June let, let him play in Junior World Cup and go through those ranks and you know um, and work his way up. Although he was in camp with us uh, in those alignment camps, I, I think Sim is a future guy who can cover 10, 12, and 15, which is a wonderful thing to have in your team. Um, I think he's one of the guys who's physically already ready for it at his age, so that's pretty young. Uh, um, so yes, I think versatility and definitely physically up there already. We saw that when he played for the Stormers already, you know, he's probably one of the more physical flyers. Uh, Carl Brunk uh, is, is probably one of the guys who was on the radar way back, uh, but just consistently had the injury with his shoulder and the nerve. and. Didn't, didn't play consistently, so um, I think he had a little bit of a run now, and he showed again on Saturday um, that he, uh, you know, he can make the step up, uh, and he's that in-between player that actually plays like a Dwayne from Mill, and you know he can steal on the ground, and he can jump on the line out, and he can carry well. So he's not an out-and-out out open sider, you know, he, but, but but he still does the, the blind side and the open side work. Um, who's the newcomer? Oh, Marco is obviously the guy that was 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 in the mix. 100%. He probably would have started uh, in the English Test matches as the first choice, and, and then the match before the last one, the Bulls played. Uh, you know, his, his, his knee went. So, um, and since he's been playing, he's, he's an out and out open side of it, like uh, Francois Lowe and Heinrich Bissau and those kind of, of guys. So it's nice to have somebody like that in the fold. And is there one more I'm missing? That's it, please. That's it, three. Okay. <laughs> yeah. you, you spoke about David Dempsey, uh, 10, 12, and 15. But he's been seen quite a bit at fullback. Do you see him as a guy who can start at fullback? He's been seen quite a bit at fullback. In training? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Training. No, definitely. No, no, we're definitely going to consider him there without a doubt. Uh, um, and and not, not because Willie is not the first choice, but because we're thinking of World Cup and you can only go take 31 guys to the World Cup and, you know, there's still the Franz Steins of the world and the Patrick Lambies of the world out there, which you know can do that job for you. Uh, things change quickly in world rugby in terms of Injuries like Patrick Lamb, he just went down, he's out till February still. Will he recover? You know, uh, Franz Stein, uh, you know, it, it's been a struggle the last few months to get him in time into camp. Uh, now it's pre season again with them, you know, so you, you have to make alternative plans for, for if one of those things doesn't come off. And maybe, you know, he, he surprises you so much that you don't actually look at the other guys because uh, he's a local boy and he's always available and always here and you can always. He's in Cape Town, you invite him to any training session or video session, which we did the last four or five weeks. Uh, and, and maybe he's one of those guys like Franz Stein when he was 19, who can just step up to the plate and do it already. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons.